Okay. It's time for me to say something. One more thing. And I've said it plenty of times, but I'm going to go ahead and say this. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. That they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That when any, whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it. And to institute new government laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. This, these words are the foundation of our country. What it is that we firmly and fundamentally are supposed to be on. Now I understand that when these words were adopted July 4th, 1776, that this did not apply to black people because they were considered property. I understand all of this, but what I'm telling you is, it's time for some folks to open their eyes and firmly decide for themselves as to what it is that they feel and where it is that they stand when it comes to this. And make no mistake, I'm not calling for another revolution. I'm not calling to overthrow the government. What I am calling for is a great awakening. What I am calling for is my brothers and sisters of all races, religions, creeds, socioeconomic backgrounds and professions. I am calling on you to speak out verbally and electorally against the injustices that are occurring within this country because whether or not you want to believe it, they are happening. Now, a few days ago, I posted a video asking how it is that a terrorist <laughs> dropping bombs and shooting at cops can be allowed to live, but a black man or a child playing with a toy or a black man with his hands up seems to not be able to be detained without being killed. I asked that question like mo most lawyers do. I asked that question already knowing what the answer was going to be. I knew what folks were going to say and you walked right into it. That's what I call an okie doke. Your responses were, well, this man has information. This man has some form of value to us. Why? Because he has information, right? So in essence, what you're saying and your rationality, what your rationality is, is that this man is alive because he poses a value to those in the upper echelons of our society, to those in power. He's a national security risk, right? Well, I dare say that the injustices that are occurring here uh, with police brutality, those that are given the right to protect and serve, but instead are enacting in such a way that they feel as if their badge gives them the right to be the judge, jury, and executioner, I dare say that that is a national security risk. That is more so an, uh, an issue of national security than what this man did. And in, what you, and, and in essence, what you really did was prove my point all along. What you basically said was this terrorist is more of value to the American people than black lives. So in essence, what you said is that black lives don't matter. And you walked right into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to beg of you. I'm going to beg of you. From every ounce of my being and everything that I have inside of me to consider the notion that there are things going on here that are inexcusable. They're happening. I promise you that they're happening. Look at what's going on and people are angry. And I understand, like I said in my live video the other day, that they're not teaching these things in schools anymore, right? So social studies is no longer a subject required to go on. And some people just don't know any better. You don't know the things that went on in history. You know slavery existed, but you don't know how really bad it was and why people are so angry about all of this. And some people are just willfully ignorant. I'm trying to tell you when I did this first video, 
that spoke out for Black Lives Matter. That was nine months ago. And I am so sick and tired. Matter of fact, I'm sick and tired and sick and of being sick and tired about talking about it because I've been saying the same thing over and over and over again. I'm tired of talking about it. I'm a white girl, a blonde haired green eyed white girl from New Orleans and I'm tired of talking about it and it's only been nine months and I can only imagine, I can only imagine that if I'm tired of it after only nine months, imagine how blacks in this country feel because they've been saying the same thing for centuries. I am pissed. I am pissed at this point, but the better question is, why aren't you? Those words are the fundamental principles within this country, not the national anthem. And you're cool with folks taking a bullet, but you're not cool with somebody taking a knee to speak out against the social injustices within this country. That to me doesn't make sense. These words are saying that these truths, these things, are self-evident, meaning it's just plain common sense. You're giving these rights by God. John Locke said you are given these rights by God, by natural rights, and they are unalienable, meaning that nobody can take them away from you. Nobody, not even the government. These governments are instituted among men, among us, and our government gets its power from us. And if at any point in time, the government is not serving our needs, it's not just our right, it's our responsibility to speak out and to do something about it. And that's what I'm calling you on. I'm calling out for you. And like I said, within education, I know that they're not teaching you this, but I'm telling you now. So you cannot sit here and claim ignorance. You have the power within this country. You, an American citizen, have a voice within our government. They get their power from you, from me, from us. But so many people feel as if they have no voice. And I'm here to tell you that you do. If the people in Congress are not passing legitimate legislation to fix the issues within education, within criminal justice reform, you know what you do? Do you wanna know what you do? It's the way the government is set up. You take your voice back, you take your power back, and you give it to somebody who will. That is the way our government is run. You have the right to set up a government in a way that is most likely to protect your safety and your happiness. This is what our country is founded upon. These are the fundamental beliefs of our American society. Some people just don't want you to have a voice. I'm encouraging you to teach your life.